What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to work on your dorm room outside your dorm room. So you can make some amazing stuff outside your dorm room because we have a lot of space we can use there. So let's get started. Alright, first we're going to get a little idea of what I have for my dorm room. So every time I spawn in, I spawn in my dorm room like this. So this is pretty huge really. It's a lot of space. Uh, we have some photos on the wall of the boot camp. We have the teachers and the students. We have a secret room where I'm sleeping when I'm AFK. We have a nice lounge area right over there and right over there. Uh, Marissa's art piece, the anime from Marissa. And my fountain. And I have also a little space outside the map, but I didn't put much in because it costs too much ink. So let's get started working on how to make something like this and you make sure that you use the boundaries that we're having right now. So let's get started. There's two ways you can do it. Uh, the first way is take my invention that I have. It's called door space. Door space will show you how much space you have outside your dorm room without hitting the out of bounds. Or you can make one yourself. It's pretty easy to do. You just go to shapes, cube, and what you want to do is start building till we hit out of bounds. So round should hit really soon. I think it's right. Yeah, around there. So that's good. So that's is already good. You can always test it out if needed. Stop adding it. Yeah, that's good. And then what you want to do is is do this four times. So again, side. There's way too much space. So you know you go a little bit back. And then, and then you do this four times so you have each side. So we have also a lot of more spots uh, you can use. So we have, I prefer not to use this front area. Maybe you can do a little hallway here or something. But I prefer not to use this really because the trees are just no way you cannot delete it. So you will have a lot of your space here. So from down to there you can make like a wall and then another wall there. And then another wall there. Uh, this one. It's pretty big, so again, wall here, and wall all the way up, around here, to the other side, around to here, and wall this off. Alright, let's go to a custom room, and show you the invention I'm having for you guys, and show you, and get a little idea of what you can do with your dorm room. So first, let's get to a custom room, so you can make a custom room if you go to create, and you have a variety of options you can choose. I prefer to use the maker room. So what we're going to do is we're going to my workshop and I will show you uh, how we're going to work from there. Right. So we're going to what we're going to do is spawn an invention in. Dorm space. Make sure it's unfrozen. And this is how much space you have in your dorm. So at the front area. There's no area really because there's trees in here, so there's not really a point on working on it. On the right, we have a little bit of some space. It's pretty not a lot of space here because uh, on the left here you have a tree, and on your right you have a tree as well, so it doesn't really have much space. Then we go from behind the dorm room. There you have a lot of space. So again, you have all this space to work on. And of course, the roof. That's right again. All right. So now you have my invention. You can start working on the floor, the walls, the roof, and of course, the outside area. So next over here, this is where I was working on my dorm room. So I didn't work on my dorm room, of course, in my dorm room, because that doesn't make sense. So I work my dorm room in a custom room, because I have no boundaries here. So you can see here, this is a rough design of my room. A lot of things have changed of my old design. And of course, I didn't really use the full boundary that I'm having. Because what's really the point of it? Because this mansion is already really big. So I don't want to risk it that uh, I accidentally miscalculated my stuff and had to redo a part. So you see again, I made work on the walls. And with some pillars and mirrors, I work on the roof. I work on the floor design here. And the outside area. 
we cannot really go outside that much outside the boundaries because you know already like I cannot walk over there because it's already so far out of bounds but you can make some nice stuff outside your dorm room you can make like a city you can make some giant clouds so you like have a, a cloud city or something like that some amazing stuff you can work on your dorm room so yeah and after, when everything is done only way you have to do is spawn a clamping in your gizmo section so open your makeup pen, palette, gadgets, gizmo, spawn a clamping and you want to buy each piece that's not merged together and then you save that all in as an invention so what this allows you to do when you have a clamp is you can move every piece that you chose to wire to this thing so every little red wire is wired to one piece of my room and I can move everything in one swift move and that's how you work on your dorm room of the space you will be still have left over after the big patch alright so hopefully this video helps you out if it does leave a like if you're new here subscribe and talk to you guys next tutorial peace